Well, hello there, and welcome in to Chatterbox Ranks. I haven't done this in a while. What we're going to do here is we, we take a Cincinnati sports topic, and we rank it down. It's a top, top ten list, top five. Today it's a top five list, and the top five list is about our beloved Cincinnati Bengals. Draft's over, free agency's over. We kind of have an idea of what this roster is going to look like. So, without further ado, I'm going to go into my top five five acquisitions that I'm most excited for going into this season. I think a lot of people are counting out the Bengals um, because they weren't didn't make a lot of noise last year, even though they went 9-8 and eight playing the hardest schedule in NFL history without a starting quarterback. I don't know. Seems like more people should be excited, but I think people are a little tired of the Cincinnati Bengals. We aren't. We aren't. And they're going to get even more tired because the Bengals are going to get even better next year. So without further ado, let's get into the top five Cincinnati Bengals acquisitions this offseason. It could be drafts. It could be free agency. Let's start on the offensive side of the ball. What have we known in this entire Joe Burrow era? That he's got a lot of weapons. It was Tyler Boyd, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins. Obviously, we lost Tyler Boyd. He's moved on. And how did they replace it? Jermaine Burton. Jermaine Burton's more explosive. There's there's some problems there, right? There, there's a lot of character things, but I think that the Cincinnati Bengals have done a really good job at creating an atmosphere cohesive to winning, towards working towards a goal. Like there, there's not a whole lot of noise coming out of the Bengals locker room. Even the ones that you've heard this offseason, T. Higgins, what's he do just this week? He posts a picture of him getting ready to play. Uh, Trey Hendrickson, he wants a trade. What does he say? I love playing for the Cincinnati Bengals. Let's let's go win a Super Bowl. So I think it's all just noise, but not a whole lot. Jermaine Burton is going to be a more explosive version of Tyler Boyd. I truly believe that with, with Jamar Chase and T. Higgins out there, you, you can't divert a whole lot of resources to Jermaine Burton. And with his explosion, I think he's going to be A great addition. So what's been the big thing about the Cincinnati Bengals during this whole era of kind of them being a contender? They have yet to figure out the offensive line. And with their first round pick this year, they took, some people thought, a questionable pick in Marius Mims, but I love it. Come number four, Marius Mims. He only played 10 college football games. Bit of a project, but he was a former top prospect. He's got the size. He's got the athleticism. When he was on the field, he was dominant. He just didn't always get on the field, whether it be injury. He was playing behind NFL tackles. And since Joe Burrow and since this Bengals era, the right tackle specifically has been a revolving door. Riley Reef, Lael Collins, Jonah Collins, three different guys. Jonah Williams. And now they, they get Trent Brown, kind of a stopgap. Amaris Mims is the future. And I've told everyone, I'm okay with the Bengals drafting for the future. It doesn't have to fill the need right now. You can do things looking forward. And that's what Amarius Mims is. He might not start. He's getting snaps. He's getting starter reps, snaps, and training camp, or whatever era of the offseason we're in. But he's going to be the answer going forward. If he can stay on the field, if he can stay healthy, if he can learn that position, which is very hard to learn. I love the idea of having a big athletic guy on the right side anchoring that line for Joe Burrow and keeping him upright. We know when Joe Burrow's upright, this team is a contender. All right, one final offensive player. And the one thing that I think that not enough Bengals fans have brought up is the lack of production in the red zone, and and that's twofold. One has been because of the offensive line. The other thing is, is we really didn't have a weapon in the red zone. You know, other teams, the Ravens have Mark Andrews. The Chiefs have Travis Kelsey. We really haven't had that. CJ Uzama, Hayden Hurst, and what I'm talking about is a tight end that can catch passes in the red zone. Mike Gusecki. Mike Gusecki, for the first time in the Joe Burrow, gives a really good target in the red zone. I mean, and we're, we're doing this already with Jermaine Burton, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Andre Yoshivas had four red zone touchdowns last year. He had like 10 catches all year, four of them were for a touchdown. Mike Gusecki gives a consistent target for Joe within the last 20 yards of the field. I think that we're going to see Mike Gusecki have a career year. He had a really good year two years ago, dipped off last year, didn't have good quarterback play. We have that in Cincinnati with Joe Burrow. I think Mike Gusecki is going to make a name for himself, and I think he's going to earn himself a contract somewhere else after this year. All right, so we did the offensive side. And I still hold that the offense is going to be the key to whatever happens with the Bengals going forward. Joe Burrow keeping him upright, giving him weapons to work. 
That's what started this thing off, and, and the defense has been fantastic. But that's what's going to keep us driving. But the final two pieces, the final two acquisitions I love the most, both come on the defensive side of the football. What did everyone worry about last year? The secondary. Jesse Bates gone. Von Bell's gone. We bring Von Bell back. He's not in my top five today. But helping out Jordan Battle is going to be Geno Stone. Second in the NFL in interceptions last year. Second. He's 24 years old. He had one of the best defensive plays I've seen all year when he picked off Joe Burrow in week two. And we get him for half the price. We get him on two years for cheaper than one year of Jesse Bates. I love Jesse Bates. But I think that you can be more economic at the safety position. I think Geno Stone, Jordan Battle, that's going to be the new Jesse Bates Von Bell. Jordan Battle was the highest rated rookie safety last year. This also gives flexibility for Dax Hill to go in a more comfortable role. He wasn't a true safety in college. And now you get a little more flexibility. You add some youth, 24 years old, and earning a second contract. Coming off a career year. He's one of the first signings we had, and I was pumped about it. Geno Stone's coming in number two. All right. So I talked about the red zone. I talked about Geno Stone and the secondary, the line. More weapons for, for Joe Burrow. There's one thing that I've seen the last five championships have, last six championship champions have, that the Bengals really haven't had, at least not the last two years. And that is an interior pass rush. That's why the Bengals lost the Super Bowl. Aaron Donald, Hall of Famer, one of the best to ever do it, was wreaking havoc in the center of the line. Last two Super Bowl champions. Kansas City Chiefs, Chris Jones, right in the middle of them. Vita Vea for Tom Brady's uh, Buccaneers. Chris Jones in, in, in the first year, the, the Chiefs. Getting a pass rush in the middle of the field directly correlates with being a contender. If you can get consistent pass rush, you're a force to be reckoned with, and that's what they got with Sheldon Rankins. Sheldon Rankins, once again, coming off a career. Most, I think the most sacks that he's had. And... Are there still some holes in the line? DJ Reader's gone. He's been, a, he's been a mainstay. But they're opting, hey, we've got to get to the quarterback more. Trey Hendrickson can't do it alone on the edge. We're going to need some help. And I think that's where Miles Murphy's going to fill in. I still have some hope for Sam Hubbard, even though he's getting a little older. But Sheldon Rankins has the unique opportunity to give the Bengals something that they truly haven't had. Larry Ogajobi was really good during the Super Bowl year. But I think Sheldon Rankins can be more. In fact, I think when all is said and done, at whatever we see with the Cincinnati Bengals next year, a big piece of success or not success will come from Sheldon Rankins. If he is the player that he was last year, the Cincinnati Bengals team can not only win the AFC North, can not only make the postseason again, but can be the number one seed in the AFC. I truly believe that. If he isn't that then we have some serious problems on that interior line. We put a lot of eggs in the back basket. That is Sheldon Rankins. But Sheldon Rankins, who is a big part of why the Bengals lost to the Texans this year. They get four sacks in that game alone. Now he's on our side. Now he's going to be wreaking havoc to Lamar Jackson, Russell Wilson, or Justin Fields, whoever the quarterback is in Pittsburgh, to Deshaun Watson, to Patrick Mahomes, to Josh, whoever is in front of the Bengals, Sheldon Rankins, is another piece that's going to get to him. So that's my top five. Let me know in the comments who you are most excited about this year. Was it Marius Mims, Mike Kosecki, guys that I didn't mention, Von Bell coming back, a guy like Zach Moss going to replace Joe Mixon. Who are you most excited about for the Cincinnati Bengals this year? Give us a like, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time here on Chatterbox Sports.